whether you are giving a presentation, speaking in a meeting or having a conversation. One of the worst feelings is knowing that you are just not connecting with your audience. Well, in this video, I bring you a few tricks that you can apply to connect with your audience, to win back their attention in case they are distracted and to keep them fully engaged when you communicate. The way that your audience makes a connection with you and stays engaged is through their senses. They listen to what you have to say and the tone of your voice and they see the visuals you're offering and make eye contact with you. Now on the flip side, when they are distracted or lose a connection with you, the reason why this happens is when things get a little bit repetitive. They no longer find what they hear or what they see as appealing. And that's why they offer their attention to something else like their cell phones. What we are going to do to connect with our audience and to keep them engaged is exactly what we do in real life when things get a little too repetitive. We're going to switch things up and break the patterns. Let's look at a few ways in which we can switch things up and break patterns in the way that we communicate. One of the easiest things that you can switch up is your voice. Your audience can get so used to the way you speak and the patterns in your voice. So your job is to break that pattern by changing your pitch, your tone or your pacing. If you're someone like me and speaks in a high pitch and speaks a little bit fast, then make your important statements in a low pitch and slow things down. This will make things interesting for your audience. Now, even if you have high energy and are very expressive, sometimes the audience still looks like they have zoned out. That's because when we speak continuously, we overstimulate our audience. The way to break the pattern in this case is to add some pauses. Pause after you ask a question. Pause after you make an important statement. I've also used pausing as a polite tactic in conversations or in a meeting. Has this happened to you where you're speaking with somebody and they pull out their phones or you're in a meeting and they start typing away on their laptops? Well, the trick that you can use here is to pause for two seconds. When you stop talking for even a couple of seconds, they will look up from their phones and their laptops and you have made a connection with them. So these two tricks, vocal variety and pausing, are ways in which you can keep things interesting in what your audience hears. Let's look at a few ways in which you can keep things interesting for what they see. An old school technique to make things visually interesting, which is still so effective, is the use of props. If you are speaking about a book that changed your life, then hold up that book and point to it so it makes things interesting for your audience. If I were speaking about the human brain, it would be so much more fun for my audience if I held up a model of the human brain. Another way to make things visually interesting for your audience is to add meaningful movements. If you are somebody that stands in the same position when you speak, then try to add some hand gestures or some body movement. This makes for an interesting visual story for your audience. Don't overdo it though, because that would be a little bit distracting. The key word here is meaningful. Add meaningful body movements. If you are using presentation slides when you speak, a common problem is that people stare more at your slides and less at you. If this happens, there's a little trick that you can use to win back the eye contact of your audience. Press the letter B on your keyboard. This makes your screen go black. Almost instantly, all the eyes in the audience will shift from the screen back to you. And you've made a reconnection with your audience. You can also press the letter W on your keyboard that will make your screen go white. It'll have the same effect on your audience. The focus will be back on you. We've now looked at different ways to make things interesting in what our audience hears and what they see. There's one more way to connect with our audience. We often forget that communication is a two-way street. So instead of speaking at them, let's involve our audience with a question. Ask them a question. Let them answer with a yes or a no or raise their hand if they agree with you. The more you involve them, the more engaged they become. Okay, which of these techniques are you going to use to connect with your audience? Let me know in the comments below. I hope that you're always switching things up and keeping things interesting for your audience and for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful for you and I'll see you in the next one.